Alright, so, today this is going to be kind of a, a different kind of Golden Monocle video, and so, what I have done this game is I have relocked a couple of times until I could get a set with the Galaxy Orb, and I want to play around with the teleport this game because it's pretty notorious for being, like, fairly buggy, and I want to see if I can maybe find some reliable ways to use it. And so, I did briefly make an imager album about this last game, but I want to kind of get into more detail of this game since I actually got an orb set pretty early and the game just started. And so this is one of the good ones that I have found, kind of standing on these stone bricks behind the ring. You just teleport straight out. And usually you end up right around here, or sometimes on the other side. And that one I found to be fairly reliable. And so it can be a fairly good escape. And the only annoying thing about this is that the orb has a fairly long cooldown of 30 seconds. I'll just get rid of this guy if he's going to try and kill me. Don't have time for him right now. And here's another good one. Say you're down here. Go, uh, go teleport up onto the ring. And it works pretty well. That was one of the more well-known ones. I was more kind of seeing if I could find some reliable teleports that, rel that are kind of more focused on looking outwards rather than straight up. And is it off cooldown? Okay. I'm looking up at the sky to see if it's on cooldown so that I don't accidentally teleport. And so, if I am, um, say, close to the wall here, near the edge, I look out, where will I end up? Right around here. Yeah, so this is another good one that I have been able to find. And now we can try it from the other end, say, from this house, or close to it. Just need to wait for the orb to not be on cooldown. But I have found that sometimes if you're looking straight out in certain places, then the distance that the orb teleports you is enough that you won't you won't be taking significant fall damage. And now this does not work well. So it does not work well from there. It only works from certain places, it seems like. That one put me right in front of the fountain. Yeah, it wouldn't be getting a ton of fall damage because it was from like right outside the uh or it was from on the ground, but Yeah. And also another good one that now this one really only applies if you have a good escape item, but if you look straight down teleports you way up into the air, and that could be a nice escape. So what if I were to teleport, say, from this tower, and try to get to, like, the other side of the map? Would that work? I don't know. Where are you from that tree? We could try a bunch of different spots. We've got the entire game. And we have a good enough set that we can defend ourselves if anyone tries to come at us. So let's teleport straight out from here. We end up here. Okay. So I guess it wasn't f close enough over there to actually teleport because that's where we just were. That's interesting. I was not expecting that. Let's see. Maybe from on top of that, Quartz Church. I believe this is a church. I'm not entirely sure, to be perfectly honest. Oh, whoops. I didn't realize... Yeah, that's what I was talking about with accidentally teleporting. I almost teleported myself out of the world. That would not have been good. Let's see. And, yeah, there's... Some random guy trying to come at us. We'll just... Quickly take care of him. But, yeah, like... 
because the orb does constant damage, you can just hit someone with the spear while the orb's going. Now, let's try from here. We end up here. Alright. <laughs> We're just over there. This doesn't seem to have as much range as I thought it did. But... I don't know, it's very interesting how this teleport works, and it's not really very well understood at the moment. But one that is pretty reliable, I think this one's pretty much 100% reliable, it's just looking straight up, teleports you above to the roof. And so you could just teleport through walls like that. And it can be very valuable if they don't have the orb as well. And it's also, you can also use the orb to chase other people with the orb, and so that can be pretty good. Yeah, I, I don't have time for people trying to attack me. I just need to get out of here, because I have the bandage. Is it healing? Yes, it's healing. I usually just keep my particles turned off now, so... Still trying to get used to that. Let's see, it's not on cooldown anymore. So, let's see. I believe we already checked from this tower. Let's say from this chimney up here. Close to the edge of the map. Where would this make us go? Or could we potentially teleport here? We can. That's interesting. So we could jump from here to here. Could we jump up to that tower over there? I'm not sure. First, we would need to actually get back over there. And another quick little trick that is not often mentioned is that you can hit space right after you use the. right after you hit shift to use the pressure plate, it'll make you go farther. Yeah, he's just gonna run away with the poison and be annoying. That's fine, I'll just heal up. I have the bandage, but I also have a good enough set that he's probably not going to try and kill me. So. This should get us here. Can we teleport over there? We can! Interesting. No. I would also like to see if some of these are reliable teleports, and so... Maybe from back here again, I think, was the one we used before? I don't remember. Three, two, one... Let's see where we end up. Yeah, out here. So... That does... that does work, seem to work pretty well. You can jump from this tower. Could we jump from, say, one of these roofs to over there? Got seven seconds. Could we safely jump to over here, say? No. We cannot safely jump to the nether brick ring. It seems that it, like, takes you a certain distance regardless of what would be in the way. I'm just gonna go get rid of this guy real quick. And so... Let's maybe try from close to the edge of the map. Yeah. I don't know why he jumped down, but I guess he realized that he was gonna die anyway. Let's try from closer to the edge of the map. Say from this gate here, this giant gate. If we were to try and go from here to say, other side of the ring, does that let us? No, it gets us over to the fountain. Could we maybe find a teleport that would get us to the fountain? Like above it? That would be interesting. Because when you have the flask, being able to teleport right to the fountain would be very handy. 
And also, the teleport is fairly notorious for sometimes throwing you out of the world, which I could demonstrate, but I don't really want to lose this set. <laughs> so, I'll pass on that. But my understanding of that is... Honestly, I don't even know <laughs> why it happens. It just kind of does. So if I were to say go from, like, here and look over towards those pressure plates... No, it does not get me to the fountain. Okay. Kind of funny how I'm still fourth, even though I'm not really even trying to kill people. That's just what happens. People get in your way. So, let's see. Let's try from, like, here outwards. I'm kind of curious as to where this will end up. Pretty close to the fountain, but we also took fall damage, so that's not too great. Let's see. If we... Oh. Didn't get another orb set, so... I guess I'll just play with this set. It's a pretty good one, anyway. Yeah, Flocka is really laggy. I might be able to kill Sarah over here. I could see that happening. These stupid jimmies keep trying to kill me. But yeah, I saw Sarah got a bandage kill, so he's actually going to die fairly easy. Yep. That void got him pretty low. Use the blade so that you don't take too much damage from the void. Can I get him in there? No. Just tank this with the void. Or the blade. Got him. Yeah, and the void is pretty scary, but if you have the blade, it takes up most of the damage. So what, flock on darker ahead of me? Might see if I could find one of them, try and get them. Dark has perm along, so he's probably gonna be pretty annoying to chase down. I could still try going after him, but I don't know what he has, so it might not be the best idea ever. Oh, yeah, he has Scrupted Flame, so it's probably not such a great idea to be going after him. Let's see, and Flocka left, but he's the only... So now Dark's the only one ahead of me. I could still try. I'll get rid of this guy first. Get rid of this guy, he's trying to Flame Spam me. It's not very nice. Intending to win this game anyway. 